Hey lovelies, it's your girl Mila Sanaa. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. So before I get into this video, I want to say, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and that's just because this past semester has been like the most stressful semester of my entire college career. But with the holiday season upon us, I thought why not start again? And so since today's video is like a little kickoff before you know all the good eats. But also this is my co-star, Sage. He's gonna be eating snacks on the side and watching his shows. But yeah, like I was gonna say, um, why not just do the holiday season and just like slide up again, you know? But yeah, yeah. this video is gonna be. Okay, this video is gonna be about me meal prepping. I'm doing this thing called like a slow carb diet. It's my goal to lose like, I don't wanna say five, yeah, like five pounds before. Um, Christmas dinner because you know uh, I like to eat I like to eat good so I just want to make sure like I'm in like tip top shape before Christmas comes around today I'm gonna to be making like a curry lentils with coconut milk I'm gonna be making mushrooms spinach chicken and rice cauliflower stir fry and I already made my breakfast and for breakfast all I did was like a turkey bacon uh, red peppers and spinach and egg whites. Yeah, but basically what the slow carb diet is, is a diet that like, you can't eat white carbohydrates or anything that could be white. So like you can't eat brown rice because there's white rice. You can't eat whole wheat bread because there's white bread. Um, you also have to stay away from like potatoes and starches and stuff. And this is all because um, the goal of this diet or this meal plan is to eat foods that burn slowly so you don't get hungry as fast but like without depriving yourself of food, like actual food. It's just not eating mm -hmm. carbohydrates. Hey. But yeah, with that said, let's get into this video. This portion is just so you guys can see where I'm working from. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna make is the spinach rice. It's like stir fry, it's like rice cauliflower, spinach, mushroom, um, and chicken stir fry. So I'm gonna take all these and for this I'm just gonna be using the um, All the ingredients. I'm gonna be using these coconut amino acids to replace soy sauce um, This chopped up Not the garlic. That's for something else. I'm gonna use the ginger to kind of give it that like More Asian food Like have it really taste like Asian food. I think I actually might put a little bit of garlic because garlic makes everything like 10 times more powerful and I like my food to have a kick especially if something like stir fry like and especially stir fry without real rice it's gotta have something because if anybody knows me they know I am the queen of carbs tell them like I eat pot like I can eat pasta that's probably how I got like this but I can eat pasta like I breathe air no not even pasta it's rice for me I can really eat rice like I breathe air so so now I've added the ginger and the garlic into the butter for it to brown and flavor the butter. I went ahead and added my rice cauliflower into the saucepan just because I felt like y'all didn't need to see that. Y'all know how to pour something into a pan, but that's what I'm doing right now. And I already know some of y'all are probably thinking this is not going to taste like rice. But as someone who has eaten this, it is delicious and I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. For real, y'all. Do this. I also recommend that since it's rice cauliflower and it's super, I don't wanna, like fragile, I would cook this on medium to low heat. And right now I'm just cutting up some more ginger because I feel like it didn't have enough of that kick I was talking about earlier. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And 
And y'all now here comes the good part, the coconut aminos. Like this is like the peanut butter to the jelly of this entire recipe. Like this is what's gonna make it look like actual rice and taste like rice. It's really good. I thought it was gonna be too sweet, but it was actually perfect. See, look at that. And now I just added in my greens little by little. Um, I'll add the rest later, but for now we're just gonna put a little bit. You posing? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Y'all, he looks so crazy because he just woke up. I promise. He's so, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> So guys, I also highly recommend using a wok for this. And yeah, now I'm just gonna add my chicken in, which I cooked earlier. Um, and basically the brown stuff you see is also coconut amino. So I seasoned the chicken with coconut amino acids too. So that's what that is. But like I was saying, use a wok. It'll save you so much trouble, so much spillage. Yeah, I just use this big pot because that's what I had. it is slow carb um but it's just not as healthy as coconut aminos and another thing to know is like if you do like salty foods it's probably not gonna like you're definitely gonna want to use um soy sauce because the coconut aminos have kind of like a sweet aftertaste yes okay <laughs> because the coconut aminos have kind of like a sweet aftertaste so you might not like it so now we're gonna get into like packaging up. Are you good? You wanna have some? Yeah. Want it? Okay. Let's see. Let me do the taste test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're gonna do a taste test. Trying to find a piece that's small enough to get in. Make sure I get everything. Yeah. 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 Ah. Oh, it's hot. Sage stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. I'm using an instant pot because it's quick and easy. So as you can see, the first thing I put in is the lentils. And then I'm gonna follow that with two cups, well, four cups of chicken broth and two cups of water. Now you add one tablespoon of garam masala. You want to add in your chopped yellow onions. And finally, before the top goes on, you add your garlic and your curry powder. Here y'all, I was having a little bit of a, a touch moment because I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming on just to find out that the Instant Pot wasn't even plugged in. So y'all can cook this for like 15 minutes, but what you're about to witness 
is the literal manifestation of my indecisiveness. I could not decide how long to cook lentils. So now our lentils are done. One thing to note though, before you op try to open an instant pot or pressure cooker, make sure you release the pressure. Here we are, they're done. Um, you just stir them up and you can eat this with the protein if you want to, but I personally just ate the lentil. Here we are you guys. This is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next six days. And I do plan on remaking all of this stuff once I run out. I just didn't want to make too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.